Good morning all. Welcome to today's maths class. Today we can discuss the word problems, application questions related with the division of fractions. Okay. The question is from page number 33, exercise 2C. Okay. That questions we can discuss. So take your textbook and read the question. First question is, a 440 meter long road is being repaired. At the end of the three days, the workers had repaired 3 by 4 of the road. At the end of three days, what length of the road is left unrepaired? That is the question. Okay. So, first we can take the length of the road repaired hmm? at the end of the three days. That, we, that is given how much? 3 by 4 of the total length. So, okay. So, first step we can write it as the length of the road repaired at the end of 3 days. Okay. At the end of 3 days. The length of the road repaired at the end of 3 days equal. What is given? 3 by 4 of the road. 3 by 4 of the road. So, what is the total length of the road given? 440 meter. So, what is? We want to find out 3 by 4 of that 440. So, it will be 3 by 4 of 440. Okay. 3 by 4. Okay. 3 by 4 of 440. What is of 3 by 4 into 440? It will be 4 and 440. You will get 110. So, 330 meter will get. That length will get 330 meter. So, what you want to find out? What length of the road is left unrepaired? So, what is the length of the road which is unprepared? How we can find out the total length of the road is given for 440? So, 440. So, the length of the road that is left unrepaired. The length of the road left unrepaired equal equal for, so from the total length of the road we subtracted this for 330. So, it will be 110 meter. Okay. Then next question. Second question. In a class of 48 students, 1 by 4 of them regularly watch a particular TV program. How many of the students do not regularly watch the program? Okay. Total students is given 48. So, second question. First we can write total students. What is the total number of students? That is given as 48. Then 1 by 4 of them regularly watch a particular TV program. So how many students watch that program? Number of students who watch program. Number of students who watch the program. How we can find out? What is the fraction given? 1 by 4 of them. So 1 by 4 of which 48, 1 by 4 of the total students. So that's equal to 1 by 4 into 48. It will be 12 students. Okay. Then what we want to find out? How many of the students do not regularly watch the program? If the total number of students is 48 and the number 12 students watch the TV program regularly, then how many students do not watch the program? will be therefore the number of students who do not watch the program will be equal to 48 minus 12 that is equal to 36 students. Okay. Correct step I wrote in the notebook. You can talk, copy down that notebook and understand. Are we clear? First the total students is given 48. The number of students who watch the TV program that is given as a fraction that is 1 by 4 of that total students. So, 1 by 4 into 48. Then, we want to find out the number of students who do not watch the program. It will be from the total students we subtracted that 12 we will get 36. Next question. Rohan has a collection of stamps. His collection is 3, 3 by 4 times that of Pranav's collection of stamps. Which is 320 stamps. How many stamps does Rohan have? Here, uh, Rohan's collection of stamp is given, not given that you want to find out. But Pranav's stamp collection, how much that is given? Pranav's collection of stamp is 320 stamps. So that we can write Pranav's, Pranav's stamp collection. 
320. Then how it is related with the Rohan's stamp collection? Rohan has a collection of stamps. His collection is 3, 3 by 4 times Pranav's collection. So what will be Rohan's collection? So Rohan collections is, Rohan stamp collection is 3, 3 by 4 times. So 3, 3 by 4 times 320 Pranav's collection. Okay. So how we can calculate that? So it will be 3, 3 by 4 times for the fraction. We can convert that into improper. 3 into 4, 12, 12 plus 3, 15. 15 by 4 into 320. Okay. By simplification, we will get it as 15 into 80. That's equal to 1200 stamps we will get. For 320, we can cancel that. That 80 will get 15 into 80. 80, you will get 1,200. So that is the collection of Rahul's stamp. Okay, one more question we can discuss. 1 by 3 of the 6 dozen fruits in a fruit seller's cart are apples. 1 by 3 of the 6 dozen. Dozen you know how many. If 1 by 4 of all the fruits are or oranges and the rest of the fruits are bananas, how many dozen bananas are there in the fruit seller's cart? Okay, total fruits is given 6 dozen. So, I, how it will be 6 into 1 dozen, you know. 1 dozen equal 12. So, total fruits we can first find. Total fruits. 6 dozen. So, 6 into 12 we will get. 6 into 12. So, 72. Then, next given. 1 by 3 of these. Okay, 1 by 3 of this is apples. So, what is the number of apples? Number of apples will be number of apples equal 1 by 3 of 72 of into 1 by 3 of 72. So, it will be 24. Okay, next is what? Um, 1 by 4 of the fruits are oranges. So, number of oranges will be how many? Number of oranges. 1 by 4, 1 by 4 of 72, that is 1 by 4 into 72, 1 by 4 into 72, we will get 18. Then what we want to find out, we want to find out how many dozen bananas are there in the fruit cell discard, how many dozen, that is asked. So first you want to know how many bananas are, what is the number of bananas in the cart. So, here, oranges, apples, numbers we got. Total fruits also we know. So, what will be the number of bananas? So, number of bananas. Number of bananas equal 72 minus 24 plus 18. From the total number of fruits, you subtracted the sum of that too. So, it will be 72 minus 42. It will be 30. Then 30 number we got. But if you want to find out the answer as then as how many dozens. We know one dozen equals six. So to find out dozen, it will be 30 by 6. Okay. So uh, not at 6, 30. Uh, one dozen you know that. How much? 12. Okay. So 30 by 12. So 30 by 12, they will get us 2, 1 by 2. Dozen. Okay. 2, 1 by 2. Dozen. Clear. So, first you find out the number of total fruits. You can take it as 72. The number of apples fraction is given 1 by 3 of the total. So, 1 by 3 into 72. Just like number of oranges given 1 by 4 of 72. So, 1 by 4 into 72. Then number of bananas we will get by subtracting from the total fruits. The sum of these two. Then the number of bananas we got 30. Then one dozen we know that is 12. So how many dozen will be we can find it out by dividing 30 by 12. Two and a half dozen will get it. Okay. Thank you.